I'm probably already live. Guys, how are you today? Hello, hello, hello. It is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Good morning, Mona. How are you today? I see that somebody's channel is growing like crazy. And my hair is doing its own thing today. Get used to it. <laughs> I am. I'm getting used to it. I'm not used to it yet. Let's get it up there in its full glory for us. How's that? <laughs> ah, yes, I uh, saw your comment on my uh, post from this morning. And then I saw your subscriber count. And I was like, woohoo, go girl, go girl. You're tired. Why are you tired? You been working too hard? Uh, my hair just does what my hair wants to do. I just live with it. I thought this morning I should cut it into a cute little bob or have one of those old lady hairstyles. <laughs> it's all we can do is try. Trying is the hallmark of, of effort, you know, of people who actually get somewhere. It doesn't happen overnight, but when it does, it's fun, right? So you're working on growing. That's a good thing. And I am playing with fabric today. Oh, I'm sorry. Femurs, the arm or the leg? I don't know where all the bones are. I used to, but these days I'm like, okay. That's not important enough for my brain to hang on to, I don't think. It must be his leg because he could probably stay home with an arm, right? <clears throat> <laughs> it's your thigh okay I knew it had to be leg because arm they would probably let him stay home I, yeah. <laughs> hi Faith how are you today excuse me <clears throat> let me clear my throat hey Tracy yeah I saw you got to get some coffee that's always important so I've got Nothing specific planned today except playing with fabric, which is what I always do, right? Um, but I have all these scraps from different things that I've been doing. I've been working on the wallet pattern, which is going to come out um, probably the end of this week, by this weekend. And so I've got all these scraps of fabric. And I was like, what can I do with them? Well, I need, I'm going to put that one back because that's a good size for what I'm doing. Um, I want something kind of Christmassy. Hello, Mask Geek. How are you today? And I'm waiting on more people to get here to tell you what the surprises are. But I'm wanting to make a wall hanging. Maybe a Christmassy kind of wall hanging. So I thought I would get my scraps out and play with it and see what I could come up with. And I have, I like cardboard. I have this piece of fabric. I think I had showed it to you guys before. And the picture stinks on this because what this is, is a little, it almost look like chevrons on it. Um, I don't know, or, or the wedding ring thing, the shape of the wedding ring uh, block. So I'm thinking I want to use part of this to make a um, wall hanging for myself, something kind of Christmassy. Sylvia Tracy had to go get coffee, she said, so she'll be right back. 
And hello, Sophia. Guys, you guys all know Sylvia is like the piecer. Sylvia does FPP like nobody's business, and she is so good at it. <clears throat> she put up a short yesterday, and apparently she was part of a swap, and the person who received the swap from her didn't like the item. It is gorgeous, guys. I mean, the item is absolutely gorgeous. It was like, who didn't like that? Let me go snack. <laughs> and I'm just ironing my fabric right now. And I've got my little ironing table like down in front of me. Let me show you guys what I'm doing here. Just ironing my fabric up real quick. Trying to get all those folded wrinkles out of it. And I thought I would kind of get this ironed up, ready to go. And then <clears throat> maybe I'll make myself a little Christmas tree or some ornaments or something. I really want to, I really want to um, play with applique today, as you guys could probably tell, right? So I'm thinking that if I do this, I want it to be. Eh, maybe about that big. That would be, let me measure it here. It's like 10 by 9 or something. So I'm going to take my little skizzers. Yeah, it definitely needs to be returned to you. Because that's just craziness. I can't believe anybody would, I mean, she, Sylvia put up pictures, up close pictures of it. Yeah, Sylvia's work is always beautiful. I'm always like, wow, check that out. <clears throat> I've never seen anything from it. Even if I'm, because I'm not like into all the animals that Sylvia's been doing FPP on, but it doesn't matter because. Exactly. If they're not going to appreciate your work, tell them pound sand and send it back to me. I agree. I agree. And you shouldn't be gutted, Sylvia. What you what you found is someone who has no taste. I mean, hello. It's a New York beauty block one. I don't know if it's called the same in Great Britain. But Sylvia is an is an expert piecer. She's amazing. So that should have just been, oh, yes, I love it. I'll keep it. Because the skill that goes into making that, uh, I'm just, I don't know. Mad isn't really the right word. Yeah, no manners at all. I agree with that 100%. So what I've got is my little, That'll work in the other thing. So will that. So I've got my little pieces that are left over. And I'm thinking. I'm kind of stealing from. What Sassy Steph did recently. She made a. Uh, a big tree. That's fusible. She made a big tree with. Um, somebody's pattern. But I'm kind of looking at this going, I could make myself a tree here. <laughs> the leader made her another one exactly the same and took yours. Yeah, so that goes to show that yours was actually really good. The other woman just has no sense. That's all. I finally used the dog fabric. Yeah, no manners, no, no cooth, as my mother would say. <laughs> A woman had no cooth. Oh, aren't they pretty? This is all from uh, Dog on It. 
from Grizzly Gulch. I think I threw the little piece of paper away. Um, but this is from Dog on It. So they all go together. Um, and I actually got out Heat and Bond for this, but I don't think I need it actually. Now I'm just sitting here going, how do I want to arrange this? Well, of course you're all mine. Okay. So what I want is, and I'm winging this, guys. I am actually winging this. I think I want to take down here at the end and do these scissors. My hands are not liking these new scissors. So there would be the bottom. And see, I just folded it over and cut it. And then I want to cut the next one a little shorter. There's probably a faster, more accepted way to do this, but this is me. I'm just coming up with something. So are most of the usual suspects here? Because I said I have surprises. I wasn't kidding. Um, I, well, not I, hubby talked to the uh, people about our property today and we have an offer so we are for sure moving and I already have a house picked out I'm just playing Tracy I am um, making myself a little Christmas tree Because we're going to be moving and not able to put up a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, she needs four for her teachers. Yeah, so I'm just making myself a little wall hanging Christmas tree. And I'm kind of stealing the idea from Steph from the other day. Um, she was working on a pattern. And her pattern wasn't a Christmas tree, but I thought her pattern was cute. And in this, I don't so much mind that it's got those pink edges. Because they just kind of look like um, uh, the Christmas tree limbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them and put them up here. Anywhere near long. I'm just using scraps for the wallets I've been making. And you guys, you know the struggle is real. I have recorded that video three times without turning on the camera. I keep forgetting to turn the camera on. So I'm like, what is wrong with me? You guys know? <laughs> Is it just that I really don't want to do it or what? Is that what it is? Cut that one a little bit shorter. No, I did it three times, Sylvia, that I did not record. I only told you about once because I was embarrassed. I'm still embarrassed. I am still embarrassed that I did that. And then, let's see. It could be the little top of my tree. What do you think? Uh, 
And I've got some little red scraps and stuff floating around that I thought I could use as um, ornaments. Yeah, three times for the same silliness. I did the same silly thing three times. Could actually do like that. Nope, I want it to be. <clears throat> that piece is too long still. I have to tell y'all, I like my old Fiskars way better. I need to bring them out here. So anyway, the offer was accepted. We will probably close in 30-ish days. And they've already told us that we can stay as long as we need to um, to get packed up and moved because, of course, we've got to buy a house somewhere else. <laughs> So we're gonna, they're going to try to get us the contract this week. He's already sent in word to his attorney to get that done. So I'm like, yes, 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 yes. All right. I'm going to do a little sleight of hand here. I don't want to put pins in all these. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little strips of heat and bond on the back just to hold the centers and then I can sew it down. Sherlock's not here, is she? Just switch, which one was the, oh, the purple? He's keeping the cows, yes. He is. That was agreed on almost before they talked about anything else. Was that he was going to keep the cows. Because what are we going to do with them? We're moving to suburbia. Actually, my son's supposed to, if I ever get a hold of the realtor on the house I like, my son's supposed to go walk through it for me in the next couple of days. And... Um, I'm hoping that it will all fall into place very smoothly. <laughs> but I do have an idea of what I want, and I've picked a house. Um, I have heat and bond running out my ears, Tracy. <laughs> so I'm not wasting it, I promise. For me, the, the double-sided tape is harder to handle. It's more fiddly. So I'm I'm good with using this. But I appreciate the thought. I mean, even the. Well, so far, math, we haven't. Uh, haven't packed the first item. And we haven't bought boxes or anything I did. Ooh, here's here's a question I have for all of you. Has anybody here ever used a moving service? I called two men in a truck this morning and got a quote. And just ballpark from what I already told her, it's looking like it's going to cost us almost $20,000 to move. I don't have a jacuzzi tub, but the property that we are looking at, Tracy, has um, an above ground pool in the backyard, which won't help in the winter, but there's plenty of room to put a bathroom in the basement, which is one thing I'm looking at. Yeah, they're really expensive. The quote I got for the move part, that's not the packing, was probably 12 to 13,000 and then the packing part is going to be significant as well it's going to be a couple of couple or three grand probably but they pack everything they come in they put they bring the boxes and all the stuff 
Well, hello, Kelly. How are you today? I was just telling everybody that I'm moving and it's a for sure now. And we're probably moving to Toledo. That's, we've kind of looked at different. Yeah, we kind of looked at different uh, areas up there. We thought about moving into Michigan itself because there are some advantages and some disadvantages to that. But the more we looked, the more the housing prices were more reasonable in Toledo than they are like in the areas of Ohio or Michigan that we were looking at. And we're trying to keep our budget so that when we go up there, we're just buying a house outright. Mona, that's what we said when we bought this place. That we weren't we were going out boots first. Um, he's got to go back for some more testing so far. Um, he says everything looks okay, but they're going to bring him in for some more testing. Yeah, we're moving from Florida to Ohio. It's like 18 hours driving. <laughs> uh, but he's got to go back in for some more testing um, on the 21st of December. They're going to do an EEG, which is the brain, like they're going to measure the brain waves instead of the heart waves kind of thing, and uh, tell him, give him an idea of what's going on there. And then we're going to move to Toledo. <laughs> yeah, right? That didn't stick. Not hot enough. But I'm looking... That doesn't have any heat and on on it. Okay. Well, that explains why that didn't stick. <laughs> Give me a piece of heat. <laughs> uh, the hand cooperating today, guys, or not real well. So bear with me. That's why I was so upset that the uh, camera didn't record. Because last night I was like, oh, my hands are cooperating. Let's do this. And then I get all done and I've moved the camera and everything, not even paying attention to whether it was recording. Hey, Lori. Um, but uh, so I've moved the camera and done all the stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then I get done. Trying to peel the paper off here. Yeah, I'm I'm debating on whether we want to have them pack us or if we want to do it. Uh, either way, we're going to have to declutter like crazy. Okay, so there's all my little pieces at least tacked down. Get rid of that. Come back up here. Me and Esmeralda are here. <laughs> And of course, none of that is completely down, but that's what we've got so far. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and do some sewing, but I want to put something behind it. And I had something over here. Yeah. 
have an old washcloth, <laughs> an old holy washcloth. See? It's going in the garbage if I don't use it. No, probably not, Tracy. We're, um, the guy who's buying our place is buying cash. So basically all we're waiting on there is for his attorney just to see how fast they can get it closed. And then whatever the closing date is in Ohio, might have a brown for a trunk, Sylvia. Um, whatever the closing date is in Ohio is what we will work with. How about this for the trunk? All right. Have a great Thanksgiving, Math Geek. Thank you for coming. Trying to lift up the edge here. <laughs> there we go. Put it right under there. That works, Sylvia? I know my little edges are hanging off, but I'm not super worried about that. Not my, <laughs> I could use this, Tracy. Would that look better? Picky, picky, picky. Oh, and this is why I don't like these scissors. See this? The spring just came off. I will be calling Fiskers after a bit. Let's turn this so the white is up under the tree as much as possible. This is called improv piecing, guys. Absolute improv. Because it's literally, what do I have sitting next to me? I guess the little Libongo scissors are going to get to come back out and play. Libongo. That's a cool name, isn't it? Bye, Mona. Have a good one. I thought somebody else was taking a nap, but I just saw Sherlock come in. I figured as close as it put the other one back. You like this one better than this one? The light or the dark? He tried to nap. <laughs> It's improv piecing and we're piecing by committee. <laughs> but that's the fun of it, right? One saying darker, one saying lighter. Go with Tracy, okay. And I'm kind of feeling Christmassy anyway, so.
Tracy, I just managed, I mean, Colleen, I just managed to break my Fiskars. What a pain. <laughs> I tried to, I did send them back once. So now I guess I have to send them back again. Colleen, Colleen. I shouldn't sing to her. Bad enough, I did a short with you can have him, Colleen or Jolene on it. Trying to make sure I've got my tree trunk centered. You didn't buy Christmas fabric, your fingers are crossed. Does that mean you're fibbing? No, they just broke a minute ago. The spring popped out of them. I'm not happy with that. What, the circular? I mean, the uh, rotary cones? Are those? Oh. Yeah, I don't even know where the spring's at. I'm not going to look for it till after I'm oh, done. One of us will find it. I'm glad. I hope not. I, hope not <laughs> I don't like finding springs in my foot. <laughs> I am on my channel. She bought Christmas fabric. Lori, she was fibbing. That's why she had her fingers crossed. I figured. I figured she bought it. She bought Halloween fabric. Did you really think she wasn't going to buy Christmas fabric? Come on, guys. This is Colleen we're talking about. All right, I'm going to try to move you guys over this way so you can see what I'm doing. There's my sewing machine. I like the flexible neck on this camera. <laughs> I don't like everything about it, but that flexible neck is nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and sew each of the sides, and then I'll come back and do... I don't need that short stitch though. And for this, I don't mind if the edges fray a little bit, but I still want to try to get them sewed down some. I keep saying imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? So. I figure if other people can do improv quilting, so can I. Because everything I've done lately has been so precise, those wallets, oh. They require me to be precise. He said by spring, if you want, you want Christmas. Well, yeah, I'm always mind blown. I mean, I know that they have to do it because of the retailers, but you know, in July, they're coming out with Christmas fabric. And I'm like, I'm not feeling Christmas in July. I'm feeling, you know, Independence Day and stuff. I'm not thinking about Christmas. Now I've got two pieces of fabric right there. So I wanna go down just so that they're put together. And then I'm gonna go across the bottoms of the pieces that I put on. So they'll stay. I do like that the Juki will cut the thread for me. And I'm kind of liking these 
non-traditional Christmas colors, the purple and the black and the green. They made a head out of a Uh, I think the Hallmark Channel plays Christmas movies all year long, don't they? I have a friend who paints for a living. She paints like houses and people's pets and that kind of stuff. And she watches Hallmark movies. She calls it all day, every day. In her studio, that's what's on. I didn't know there were enough Hallmark movies to keep you from being bored to tears doing that. And I do like how the um, washcloth works in this. Because it's not super puffy, but there's a little bit of edge there. I saw yay, but I didn't say. Well, I did talk about the move a little bit. I sent Colleen a realtor.com link to the house that I'm interested in. And uh, let her take a look at it. It has a full basement. It's a three one, but there's enough room in that basement to put another bathroom if I wanted. And I might want. There's, it's got a humongous space, but it's like uh, 45 by 23 or something. It's got two parts to the basement. One of them is set up as a rec room, which will probably be where um, I'll be filming at. So you guys be prepared for that. But it's got like teal blue carpet. So that's a... I'm not sure if that's going to be a yes or a no for everybody. And I asked my husband earlier, I was like, um, do you have any say in this? Because <laughs> I've kind of picked out the house and said, okay, this is what I want. And I asked him, I said, uh, do you have any preferences? I picked out the house that we live in. I mean, he didn't even see it before we closed. I had been here a couple of times, but he said, oh, you did pretty good on this one. We've both been happy here. So hopefully I've made us a good pick for the next one. All right, let me come back over here and bring you guys back up here. So what do you guys think? Teal blue is a good color for me. Let's not have me be crooked, though. <laughs> so that's stitched on the front. And that's what it looks like on the back so far. And when I get ready to trim it, I'll trim off those little edges that didn't get sewn down there. And put I'm not going to put binding around it or exactly how I'm going to do that, but there's probably my big Christmas tree. Oh, I think so, Sherlock. And um, I've already got ideas. Yvette's got white bookcases behind her sewing area where she stores most of her fabric and stuff. And I'm thinking that might be an idea for me. I'm going to be looking at everybody's sewing room tour, stealing ideas over, well, 
maybe not before we move, but definitely after we move. Yeah, so this is probably going to be my Christmas tree this year, Colleen. <laughs> I'll take it in and do some embroidery on it. I've got some gold embroidery thread that would probably look really pretty. Like maybe something darker here, but I could put, you know, Noel or Merry Christmas or whatever. For your FPP, Kelly, that's what you bought that for. Yeah, I think it would look really good once I get everything set up. I mean, 23 by 20 is twice the area I have now, uh, even with this area and the sewing room. So uh, <laughs> I think I've, I think you did a live from your sewing room. Yeah, those those bookshelves, Walmart has them sometimes for the real tall ones for like 50 bucks. So I'm thinking if you put four of them side by side, Yvette has binder clips on hers. <clears throat> and I'm sure she's going to paint her binder clips, but she's got binder clips to keep them like locked together, the shelves. And I thought, oh, that would look really cool for a filming area. And then I could have my sewing machine in the front. And you wouldn't see all my mess back here behind me. And there's a fireplace downstairs. Now, I don't know if it works, if it's wood burning. Sylvia, you don't have a mess. Quit putting yourself down. And that's another thing. All you girls, you keep putting yourselves down. You guys are talented. Hello. I refuse to put myself down for some. There are enough people out there who will put you down because of their own insecurities. I'm not putting myself down for them. That's just, that's on them. Y'all have fun. You know, I'm not going to lecture anybody, but let the haters put you down. You don't need to join in. Give them reasons. Especially all these people who are like, oh, there's a mistake, or I didn't do a very good job of this, that, or the other. On your quilt, on your quilt, unless you can see it from a galloping horse, everything's perfect. Take my word for it. And the people that you're going to be giving quilts to, hopefully they're all quilt worthy are people who love you for the most part, right? I mean, you know, you might give a baby quilt to somebody, but a baby quilt is a special category of quilts. Yeah, but a baby quilt's a special category. They get washed, they get pooped on, they get thrown on the floor. The dogs wrestle on them, the kids wrestle on them. They're made to be utility quilts. You can make a pretty quilt for them to put up, but I don't make pretty quilts for people to put up. I make quilts for them to use. So I expect that two years from now, you're going to show me a picture of something that's been through the washer a hundred times and been muddy and has dirt stains and blah, blah, blah. And then at that point, if you want a better quilt for your kid or something, then come back and we'll make them a pretty quilt. But baby quilts are meant to be for babies. I've never noticed. Exactly, Tracy. If they don't love your work, they're not worth it and they need to go away. And they could just give it back. <clears throat> you know, and I and I feel that way, especially about this chick who doesn't know the value of what Sylvia sent her. I mean, hello. You washed it and it crinkled. Well, that's half the fun. That's half the fun is seeing how they crinkle up once you wash them. <coughs> I've heard of people who, oh, I don't wash quilts before I give them away. And I'm like, why not? I would. I want to see them crinkle. I have um, a standard issue mobile home closet. 
So it's got one of those wire racks across the top. And then I have all of those wooden crates that Joann's or Walmart had for like $9 a few years ago. I have 12 of them stacked up and they're screwed together. And I use those as shelves in the bottom of that. Yeah, that person does need their head examined. So when I get ready to start packing my sewing room, I'm going to use those as boxes to haul stuff because they'll hold fabric and all kinds of stuff. And I hope your sister does feel better. Yeah, I think quilts, it, it's like um, Wilbur, Charlotte's Web, you know, or the Velveteen Rabbit. You don't become real until you're almost worn out, you know? So a quilt, I don't think is really a genuine quilt. I don't know how to put that, but until it's been, you know, slept under and washed and drug around the floor a bit. I don't think it's really a quilt. It's just a blanket. It's just something, you know, they're cute. They're pretty, but they're not really, quilts are hugs. So for me, it's not really a hug until it's been used. And I have some quilts that my grandmother made when her kids were little. And my uncles and aunts would sit, you know, in the winter, they yarn tied quilts instead of like quilting them with needle and thread. And um, all those quilts feel like a hug to me. Whenever I sleep under them, I think about who of my family made it, who sat under it and tied it. My mother's gone. So um, Lori Sherlock doesn't have one yet. I don't know what to put on hers. I don't know. I'd have to come up with some smart alecky thing to put on it, Colleen. Got an idea? I can make her one. I have the technology. I know you don't have a channel. Neither, neither does Tracy A. <clears throat> but Tracy A's got a... Exactly. Quilts are made to be drugged. They really are. Um, are you trying to, or are you making another one for your mom? So I know I didn't sew for a long time today, but this is my Christmas tree. I'll put some binding on it. I'll put a picture of it up probably in a short. You guys know I love making shorts. I'm having fun with it. <clears throat> And I don't know what I did today. Somewhere along the way, <clears throat> I put up three shorts at noon today. <coughs> so you guys can all laugh at me and go watch whichever one you want. I like the one that starts out, oh my gosh, Becky, what is she doing now? Wayne made that one for me. I think it's cute. And see, this little fabric is going to fray right along the edges, which is fine. It'll look like garland on my Christmas tree. I have to come up with something there, Colleen. You're gonna give your sister the hug. I thought you were making one for yourself, but you just made yourself a quilted jacket, right? I may have to make myself a quilted jacket. Think about it, I'm moving to we're going to freeze moving from Florida to Toledo. Yeah. That doesn't sound glamorous to say you live in Florida. It's like, yeah, I live in Florida. You tell people you live in Toledo and they go, oh, that's nice. So, but I'm looking forward to it. We'll be closer to my son and his wife, which will be nice. And um, then there'll be some help if something happens. <laughs> Shorts are working. Bye, Kelly. You have a great day. Yeah, 1.23. I don't even know. I looked before I came on. I looked at everybody before I came on. And the one I can't see is me. 
one, two, three, six. And then Colleen, folks, is at 424. And Sylvia is at 321. So everybody's growing. And in case anybody's following, Wayne is at 650, 647. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, it's kind of cool. The thumbnail it picked out for this today is me ironing. It's on the red ironing board. So that's cool. I like that. So when it comes up later, you'll see my hand instead of me. That's a good thing. So, yeah, Colleen's killing it. Sylvia's killing it. I'm killing it. We're all killing it. <laughs> you follow Wayne? Awesome, Sylvia. He hasn't put up anything in a few days because of work and all the crazy that's going on around here. Oh, I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate all of you that follow him. He comes up with some pretty cool stuff with the animals. And he came up with the um, animated videos I've been doing it. So he came up with that idea we've been working with. You guys got ideas? <laughs> I'm always looking for ideas. And uh, speaking of ideas, what are you guys all doing New Year's Eve? Because I'm contemplating... I haven't made any decisions yet, but I'm contemplating New Year's Eve. Depends on move and all that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sylvia. But I'm contemplating it. Um, it's not set in stone yet. You're going to be talking to me on New Year's Eve? Oh, the animals are fun. The animals are fun. I don't know. There's quite a few people doing New Year's Eve stuff, but I kind of was like, you know, do we want to do our own thing? Do we want to join in somebody else's? I'm kind of, I, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning both directions. I don't know. I was thinking I might trim the side down so they're even. But I kind of like the wonkiness of it. And that gives me room to do um, embroidery on it if I want to. Because I do have some embroidered stars that I can put on it. Yeah. Sure, like that's usually my thing is I usually bring in the new year sleeping. Um, but I'm thinking it might be cool. I don't know, maybe to do a Zoom session or something. Yeah, exactly. Well, what I want to do right now is I want to continue sewing on this, but my shoulder has already said, no, we're done. So, yeah, that's why I'm not doing any more, sew any more sewing. Yeah, we'll probably be asleep by midnight, too. But I was thinking if I prep ahead of time and I sleep all day, New Year's Eve, then I could stay up all night New Year's night or New Year's Eve night. Uh, so it's something I'm thinking about, even if I don't have um, chatters in with me, but I'm thinking about it. We'll see. And if we don't do that, we'll do something else. But kind of like, hmm, let me think about this. I can make plans as it gets closer. Yeah, well, and everything um, is really up in the air and dependent on when we're moving, how fast we can move. <laughs> I mean, who knows? I may spend New Year's Eve in a hotel because we may be moving from here to there or we may even be moved already. I don't know. So, you know. Oh, YouTube lipstick and my nail polish match for once. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on if I moved and set up. And I really do. I mean, in my head, I've already put my sewing room together in the basement of this new house. And I know where everything's going, all the furniture and stuff. So if this house doesn't happen, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll like wherever we end up at, but I kind of have this one on my brain. And I have called the realtor already trying to get 
um, a walkthrough set up. My son is willing to go walk through it for me. And he's an electrician, so he can look and see if there's any major problems on that. And it looks like there's enough room, like I said, to put a, um, uh, a, a bathroom in the basement. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. I don't even know what it's called. This stuff chips badly is the only thing I don't like. It is L8 colors. Let's see if that'll focus for you. I hope it fo focuses. <laughs> My fingers don't want to work today. Um, it's called Tea Time. LA Colors Tea Time. It says it's got <clears throat> a gel-like shine, but no UV light is needed. I'm trying to, Color Craze is, it, color LA Colors Color Craze Gel, and it's called Tea Time. And I didn't even realize it until today, because it goes on darker than the bottle. I didn't realize until today that it matches my lipstick. My, you know, one tube lipstick that I own. <laughs> I have to make sure I, uh, I have that other one, so, uh, Colleen, that you suggested. I was hoping that this would give you a better picture today. I don't know how to get you. Let's see. Because what I'm seeing on the screen is green. And it's, try not to blind you guys. It's purple, blue, and green. It's kind of iridescent, like an oil slick. I'm too impatient to wait for gel polish to dry. It takes forever. Um, but this is called Freudian Flip by Orly, O-R-L-Y. And Colleen was ordering a bottle and sent me a link to Walmart for it. And I went ahead and ordered it. It should be, Sylvia. It should be better in the new house. My son, well, that's one of the criteria my son has been using. He's been haunting realtor.com and zillow.com and he has been using internet as a criteria you know like what he used to work for starts with an s and it's not starlink i don't even remember what it's called but he used to work for one of the companies up there in toledo and they have he says they have good internet I want to say it's like serpent, but it's not serpent. Um, but he used to work for them with an S. And then they also have Buckeye. So he's looking for places that have um, good internet service. And he knows where the fiber is and stuff. So when he sends me links to houses, I know that he's already checked that stuff. And then he's going to do the walkthrough and look at the electrical and all that good stuff for me. Yep, there's most of my mods listed. It doesn't have Tracy or Sherlock in there. It's not Sprint. I want to call it Starlink, but I know that's not right. Starlink is is what we have. And of course, we weren't we aren't going to get rid of our Starlink because if you get rid of it, it's impossible to get back. Just about, you have to wait years. Um, it'll come to me five minutes after I get off the. Um, it'll come to me five minutes after I get off here. Spectrum, thank you, thank you. That's it. <laughs> See, Lori knows it's Spectrum. Yeah, that's who he used to work for before he went over and, and started his journey to becoming an electrician. And I think he's a journey man at this point. So he's not an apprentice, but he's not a master either. He's like in between. 
where most of them stay most of their career. But he passed his contractor's license the first time after worrying so hard about it. My son is so smart. He worried so hard about the silly test. And he went and took it. I mean, he like didn't sleep the night before, wasn't eating for days. He goes and takes the test and like makes a better score than anybody's ever made. That's who you've got, Sherlock? Yeah. And he knows how to fix that, too, if there's issues. So that'll save on that, too. The other thing is, is he wants to install security cameras um, around our house like he has around his. So you can see, like, whether I'm in the basement or upstairs, you can see all the way around the house. That's what he's trying to get me, Sherlock, is fiber. Uh, apparently, most of the places there, it's going in as fiber. Tracy Albert has fiber. She has killer service. So the only thing that's going to be a negative is that it's going to be cold. And we have um, forced air heat and air conditioning in the house that we're looking at. So I didn't have a lot of criteria. I need some room. One of the houses my son sent me, though, it had all these little rooms that were like a dollhouse, you know, with doors and stuff. And I was like, I don't like that. He's like, what don't you like about it? And I said, because it's like little boxes. And he's like, really, mom, you're going to be picky about houses? I, after some of the places we lived when he was growing up, I get his question. But I'm like, yeah. I'm going to be picky about houses because if I've got to leave my house that I love, you know, in, in Florida and stuff, I want to live someplace nice. I want to live someplace. It doesn't have to be like a mansion. I like big windows with lots of light and air coming through. And this basement in the house we're looking at has windows up around the top. So you still get outside light. Julie, it has a basement that's got a rec room in it and a wood-burning fireplace that's 23 by 20, and then a utility room right next to that that's 22 by 20. And I'm thinking that 23 by 20 ought to be more than sufficient for me to have a sewing room in it. And if I really need extra space, I can edge into the utility room. So. I think I can put all of my goodies in one space and not have to divide my time between two different areas. And I've already pretty much got everything put away in my brain. There's even, and I don't understand what this is for. It might've been a wet bar at some point. Yeah, sounds nice, doesn't it? But there's even like over in the far corner away from the utility room, there's a little tiled area with some cabinets above. And I'm thinking how perfect that would be to put like a countertop height cabinet and put the scan and cut and the Cricut there. Yeah, it's a mansion of a sewing room for sure. But I'm thinking that would be perfect to put a Cricut area in. And I have this big table that sits beside me so it would go right there and then be able to have a little table there to sit and do your weeding and all that stuff. And maybe even move the embroidery machine over to that area because the embroidery machine doesn't have to be next to my sewing machine. It needs to be near a computer. I have two laptops. The other laptop has all the programs for Cricut, for Brother, for my embrilliance and all that stuff on it. So I could actually move all of that function onto the other computer. Well, hello. Um, I'm not sure how to say it. Bahi from Armenia. Nice to meet you. Sylvia, you have a great day. Hopefully you're going to have supper and it'll be something good. It is a mansion of a sewing room for sure. There's also a three season or a four season porch on the back of the house that might work as a sewing room too. So I'm like, yeah, let's just check this out and see what we got. Did I say your name right, Bahi? It, it might be said completely differently. 
I hope I did. Doritos for supper. Awesome. Hopefully you're having something with the Doritos, like chili or something. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully it'll all go very smoothly. Knock on wood. <laughs> Because, you know, anything could still happen, but it would be nice if it all went easily for us. Yeah, I'm trying. I apologize. My, um, I know how to pronounce some names in German, but I don't know anything about Armenia. Thai curry. That sounds good. They're just a snack. Uh, well, it is probably snack time for you. It's what, 8, 8.30? A she shed, sewing shed, 12 by 10. Hey, 12 by 10 is awesome. I'm in Florida, Vahi. Moving to Ohio, probably. I'm in the U.S. A 12 by 10 could be really good. I've seen some really nice ones that were built like, you know, everything was within a chair. Uh, like you could turn and reach all your stations. That would be really great. I can't wait to get it done. You'll have to post pictures. If you're on Facebook, you'll have to post pictures and tag Practically Creative or in the group. Because I love seeing pictures of other people's sewing rooms. And of course, I'll have to do a new one when I get my new one set up, a new tour. I've been pulling out of my sewing room tour from before and putting it up as shorts, but I'm also putting a lot of ideas over on my Pinterest board and I'm taking a lot of pictures for myself for later. And then I've been, like I said, haunting um, Yvette's old videos, looking for ideas because Yvette organizes the way my brain works. Oh, some of those sheds are really cute. We have a 20 by 30 shed out here. And I have threatened for years. Um, I've threatened for years that I was going to take that over. Um, so is it near the Cotton Mountains, Bahi? Let me get Mr. Google Pants on the job here. Um, you're near Azerbaijan, right? If I, I probably just butchered that word. And I know that that's a trigger word. I apologize. I want to make sure I'm looking in the right place. Caucasus region between Asia and Europe. Awesome. Well, welcome very welcome to the channel. Right, right, exactly, Julie. That would be the way I would want to do it too. Don't want to have to get up until you have to iron or cut fabric. I probably just butchered the name of both countries and the the poor Bahi. I'm sorry. That's not my intention. <laughs> I would never intentionally butcher your name. <laughs> I watch um, Kandayati, which is a blog from Azerbaijan. They cook on, yeah, I, I knew there was a war going on between you, and I'm sorry. Uh, but I, I watch how they cook things and grow. Oh, am I saying it right? That's a good thing. So are you that rural or is Armenia more um, industrialized? I see that it's landlocked. I'm always interested in geography and traditions of people from other countries, which is why I watch so many. I watch Australians and New Zealanders and Russians and 
a French couple that's renovating a chateau and a there's a Chinese lady that I watch or Korean and uh, she does serene 5 a.m. breakfast preparation and I watch her do it and it's you just sit down to watch it and it's like you just automatically calm down because she does everything slow and gentle and has soft music. And even when she talks, her voice is very soft. I'm not that person, obviously. I'm a crass American. You were the first Christian country. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Well, that's awesome. Oh, is that what the, I probably don't want to ask that question. I'm sorry. Um, so are you male or female? And do you sell quilts, craft, paint, do any of that? Yeah, I, I enjoy watching that kind of stuff too. That's why I was asking. I figure that people who watch my channel probably enjoy seeing the sewing and quilting process, just like I like watching people cook and I like watching people clean. I'm weird. Forgive them a pressure washer to clean the driveway or mow the mow a high grass yard. Oh yeah, I'm there. <laughs> I'm watching it. That's the stuff I like. I like seeing things get cleaned up or or put together. There's a furniture refinisher who does everything by hand and he stands by hand and you just watch him do it. And it's like, yeah, it's that cool stuff. Colleen, you have a great day. Tell Tim I said hi. And it is almost 3.15. So we've been on for a little over an hour. And Vahi, I didn't want to be rude and jump out as soon as you signed on, but I do normally finish by about three, uh, my time. I'm not sure what the time difference is for us, but we're live um, American time Monday and Thursday at 2 p.m., usually runs from two to three, and I would be more than happy to see you show up again for next week's live on Monday. But I am going to say goodbye for now to everybody. And you guys have a great day. And I now have my Christmas tree <laughs> so I can put it up. And this is going to be the extent of my holiday decorating this year since we're going to be heading out the door. You guys all have a great day. Bye for now.